Let's get started with Nexus. When you first come in, left click on this query window to the right and Nexus is ready to go. Now choose the system in which you want to query. And I've got many systems here. I'm going to go with, let's see, Teradata Virtual System. And now the tab changes to the color that was set when I created this connection. I'm actually ready to run a query. But notice my database is DBC. I may want to change my default database or current database. And in a Teradata system, you do this with the database command. So you type in database and SQL class will be the database I want to be the default. When I hit execute, notice the database window changes to SQL class. That is now my current default database. I can actually use the dropdown to change database back to DBC. Or let's go back to SQL class. This is a great way to make sure your current database is set to what you want to. Now we're ready to run a query and I'm going to say select everything from employee table. To execute the query, I just have to hit the green arrow execute or function key five and the query is run and now I'm going to raise that answer set up. I can move columns around easily by dragging them left or right and now things change position. I can drag a column header to the group by area and now everything's going to be grouped by that column. Let's see who's in department 400. I can remove this by just dragging it off and now things are back to the way they were. If I want to clear all the SQL out of my window, I just hit the white piece of paper. Now, let's run two queries simultaneously. Select everything from department table, semicolon. The semicolon says I'm done with this query. Now I'm going to run select everything from sales table and again semicolon. I hit execute. Both queries will run. I'll get two result sets at the bottom. Result set one, result set two. You can run as many queries simultaneously as you want. Now, I've got multiple SQL up, but I'm going to highlight one of them and only that's going to execute. As you can see, I only have one result set right here. If you want to get an explain, you can, since I have two queries up, I'll have to just highlight one. All you have to do is hit the magnifying glass right next to the white piece of paper and that's going to get me an explain or I can hit function key six. The query doesn't run, but it shows me how the system's going to execute the plan. So I'm going to get rid of that and we're going to start over here. Let's use our function keys. I highlight a query and hit F5. It executes this. Now I'll highlight a different query and hit F6. Now it's going to give me an explain plan. There it is. We can also run other queries from this Teradata system by hitting the new query button or we can actually run queries from different systems. I'm going to go to the drop down of the new query button and we're going to run a query on let's go with SQL Server. A new tab comes up and that tab has the color of the system in which we connected to and this was done when we created it. Now let's go to the SQL Server, open up our tree and we're going to let Nexus build a simple query. Right click on the table and say quick select from the menu. It built that using SQL Server TSQL and there's the answer set. Now let's run a query on Oracle. Notice I've got three tabs. I'm actually querying three different systems. I open up the Oracle tree. We'll do another quick select. And now it's going to build this in Oracle SQL. And there it is. I execute that. I get my answer set. You can easily comment out any SQL by putting double dashes at the front or going to the pencil and saying, I want the highlighted area commented out. Claim service and subscriber number are no longer going to return in that query. Those lines are completely commented out. You can see those in green and I can uncomment those out very easily also. And there you go.
Nexus.